Desolme. 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 I was just about to say, <laughs> affectionately known as Mimi, is the founder and lead blogger at I Waited Blog, a purity and lifestyle blog um, catered to leading people not only in purity, but into a greater understanding of God, who God has created them to be. Mimi blogs, vlog, blogs, blog, blog, yeah. sorry, blogs, interviews, and speaks. Mimi is a licensed minister. Mimi also owns and runs her a home and office cleaning and organizing company. Mimi is living her best life while walking out her complete purpose. Mimi, oh, welcome yeah. to the Good Success segment. So excited. <laughs> we definitely want you just um, just start the purity journey. I remember we attended, um, I think you were honored, um, I think when you committed yourself and you were honored at this event where you said that oh, you were going to be, you yes. know, you were going to walk, oh, this, yes. walk this walk. Oh, yes. so many that. years ago. Yeah, it was a lot of years ago. And one of my favorite, uh, it's a rap song that's out now. I know we're the station that puts Jesus Christ first, but there's this rap song that says, walk it how you talk it mm -hmm. and so um for me that's how i live my life i i, I say what i'm going to do i'm right. living that kind of life yes. and that's what you're doing with the blog with the i waited blog you're walking in how you talk it yes. and so um you're providing people with just a blueprint christians with a blueprint on how to live a pure life so tell us how you started on this journey uh yeah, so I'll give you the short version. <laughs> you don't have thirty minutes, <laughs> right? Um, so I was just in a place where I had committed my life to Christ, mm -hmm. um, like really committed my life to Christ. So you know how we go to church and mm -hmm. we do the church things, but there's a point where you get and you know God is saying, "I need you for real." Mm -hmm. Like I need you to commit your life for real. So I committed my life to Christ, and um, I got to a place where I said, "Okay, I'm going to also commit my body to Christ." Mm -hmm. um, because growing up, I always thought I'd be a virgin on my wedding day, but, mm -hmm. you know, it didn't happen, and, you know, things happened in college, and so I got to a place at about, I think I was 26, 27, mm -hmm. and I said, um, I want to wait. So I started dating someone who we'd been friends since we were 16. I remember. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so um, we started dating. We both said we were going to wait, mm -hmm. um, but that didn't end up happening. So after that ended, I was like, man, God, like, what is this? I really want to do it, but it's just not working out. And so I grieved that relationship for like a whole year, like a year, because we were best friends. Mm -hmm. Even though the rest relationship was short, we still had history. Mm -hmm. And so at about the year mark, I said, okay, why am I waiting? Like, mm -hmm. why am I doing this? Are people really doing this? Um, what is the point? And so I had to really dig deep into myself and say, like, find out why I was doing this. I didn't want to just be waiting just to... Just to wait. Yeah, just to wait. Right, and mm -hmm. also just be doing, like, the Christian thing. And so... Um, I started getting on the internet looking for people who were talking about the fact that they waited mm -hmm. and did it successfully, and I couldn't find anything. And so um, I literally felt God impressed upon my heart to start a blog um, interviewing couples, and so that's where it started in 2012. Mm -hmm. um, and on that journey, God has just been kind of like purifying my heart, purifying my life, mm -hmm. and showing me that purity and abstinence is not just about not having sex mm -hmm. it's literally right. a lifestyle it's literally where god purifies the things that you watch and the things that you do and the things that you say so that's been kind of you know the short of it of what this journey has been for me good stuff i thought you took it from that to you're vlogging about it you're writing about it now you're on a talk show about right. it i am just and then this week is major for you, birthday, a major event, so we're going to get to all of that. Yes. So we, we want to encourage, I want you to really, because a lot of people, because you know we were on this journey together too mm -hmm. as a purity, and um, a lot of people think that, oh, it's just keeping yourself, but it is so much yes. more to, okay, I'm just saving myself. Right. So tell our listeners like the importance, why you should overall, the, your air gate, eye gate, everything is purity, right? Um, the... When God started um, convicting me about the fact that purity wasn't just about sex, it was literally where I was in a place where I really got self-righteous with God. I was like, God, I am waiting. I'm not <laughs> right. having sex. I am doing what you called me to do. He was like, but yeah, but your heart is not pure about it. You know, um, you still during their curse people out on the highway like <laughs> your your life is not pure mm -hmm. and so um god started teaching me and that's the reason why i wrote the purity devotionals because god started teaching me that purity is not just about not having sex you literally being like christ means you have a pure heart being like christ mm -hmm. means your eye gates are pure you're not watching just anything because we don't realize like the bible calls the 
the the uh, the devil the the prince of the air mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the things that go through the airwaves and the mm -hmm. the even the waves of the radio like those things influence your thoughts your actions the things that you do and the things that you say and so um god started challenging me to purify what i listen to what i watch what i do even the conversations that i have so many times even this morning i was reading where it talks about not um, engaging in like slanderous conversation mm -hmm. in impure conversations mm -hmm. and conversations that are vulgar um, and so we don't realize that when we you know you tell that dirty jo joke you think it's just a joke mm -hmm. but it's not just a joke right. it's literally something that's infiltrating your spirit and infiltrating your heart and the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks mm -hmm. whatever is in you is going to come out yep. so whatever you put in is what's going to come out and so um, when I talk about purity, I'm not just talking about save yourself, save yourself. No, it is save yourself, but it's save your total oh, person, person, who yes. you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have to be a, a representation of who God is in this mm -hmm. earth. And in order to do that, you can't be the person that's on your job still telling the dirty jokes mm -hmm. on your job, still being the person that everybody can come and gossip to. Mm -hmm. On your job, the person that's tearing down your boss those things plant seeds and those things show other people like yeah she's the person that's gonna give you a bible verse yeah. but she's gonna also <laughs> turn around and cuss you out so no, you, you know what i mean mm -hmm. so yeah those are purity it's i've awesome. learned it's, it's it's your whole it's life awesome. yes it's your whole life i mean we tell us uh about uh one uh, a couple that you've interviewed that you know was one of your favorite couples that you've covered and, and why that couple was one of your favorites um I have so many, and I really loved all of them. I love talking to people. But one of my favorites is um, they're out of California. They attend Pastor Torre's church. Okay. Um, it's Christina and um, Stefan mm -hmm. Cheney. Mm -hmm. I always call him Stephen. <laughs> um, um, but the thing that I loved about them mm -hmm. is the fact that Stefan was so, <laughs> everyone loved his interview because he was so real about the fact that he was like a complete party dude, playboy Sleep literally like sleeping with a different woman every night, and God saved him and redeemed him, mm -hmm. and got him to a place where he uh, wanted to commit his life to Christ, and he wanted to live mm -hmm. for Christ. And the fact that God literally took this man who never thought he'd be married, never thought you know he'd be someone that could commit himself to one woman, mm -hmm. and he's now in a place where he's serving God, and he's proud to on social media they're pregnant now with their second Aww. child yeah and he's like I can't wait to get her pregnant again and I love my <laughs> wife and he just brags on her and I'm just like I love the fact that God the we can see the redeeming qualities mm -hmm. of God in these marriages mm -hmm. because God can take something that's so seems so terrible or a person that seems so terrible and you know like unsavable mm -hmm. and save them and clean them up and use them for his kingdom and you know that's that's so important I mean, but I think a lot of times as women we try to be that God to men mm -hmm. instead of allowing God yes. to move in their hearts and in their minds. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things that I, you know, had to struggle with. But finally, I think I got it now. Mm -hmm. Like, let God do that for yes. him. Let God save him. Yes. You just be that example by being a woman of purity and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I really want to ask you, how do you, because I feel like we should, you know, in this era, we have to be transparent and real. Mm -hmm. So how do you have a conversation with the guy and let them know that this is the journey that I'm on? Um... I, I don't think it's something that comes up on the first date yeah. unless <laughs> unless it's, the conversation flows that way naturally. Mm -hmm. But I think it's something that um, that's it's a conversation that comes along in a natural way. Mm -hmm. It's not something you come out and you're like, listen, <laughs> you ain't getting none. you ain't getting none. <laughs> it's not about to go down. <laughs> you can forget about it, like you know those types of things. But I really believe it's something that you allow to unfold naturally. Mm -hmm. um, and when you see the relationship getting to that point, because I don't think that conversation even needs to be had with every guy because every guy's no, not going to get to that point. Right. So um, I think a lot of women lead out the gate with that mm -hmm. if you're abstaining, and I don't think that's necessary. First of all, I think most men, they have like this sixth sense about yeah, women. They have an idea. They have an mm -hmm. idea, and they can look at women and tell, okay, she's mm -hmm. this or yeah. she's that. And mm -hmm. so it's something where if you believe that that person someone that is going to make it mm -hmm. with you, then you have that conversation like, hey, this is where I stand on this issue, and um, I'd like to know your views on it. Now, if you want, if you agree and we can go on the journey together, then okay. If mm -hmm. not, then it's not that big of a deal. Don't say, I hate you mm -hmm. and I all this other stuff. It's so, Everybody's not for you. Mm -hmm. If a person can't, some people literally feel like they can't wait. If they can't wait, that's fine. 
it's fine and there's going to be another person that comes along so i think it's something you allow to unfold naturally in the conversations good stuff good stuff but tell us about you know the book so what's the title of the book um the book is purity the real deal um so it's 21 days of prayer and purity can you tell us about one of the days uh yes yeah, really? okay. <laughs> okay so we, we want our listeners to purchase the book but we just want to give them a little you know i wonder what their palette is okay so um in the um devotional i break down the different parts of you know the purity parts of purity so your eye gates your ear gates your heart, your body, your, even your money. God was teaching me about purity in your money. So one of them is um, your eyes. And I start off with a verse, and then I kind of jump in and give like a devotional. So I just read reading quickly. So if your eye, even your good eye, causes you to lust, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than your whole body to be thrown in, into hell. Um, I said, so let's jump straight out of the gate. Our eyes have the potential to lead us down the destructive path if we don't keep that gate clear and pure. I believe that Jesus was giving an extreme yet feasible solution to keeping your eyes pure. We live in a society that has no problem putting what would be considered soft porn on our television screens. And as a society, we're becoming and we've become desensitized to sexually explicit and immoral acts on our television screens. Now, just because the world is desensitized doesn't mean we as Christians should be desensitized as well. So that's kind of just me um, kind of giving also real world um, examples. We literally, there's stuff on television. I'm like, this stuff used to be like on HBO back yeah, in the day. Yeah, everything is just. And now it's on nice like circle. on the yeah. regular yeah. screen where your kid can switch over mm -hmm. and watch it. And so I'm just in a place where I'm like, we don't even see a problem with this. And then Christians, we haven't really stood up and said, this is not right. Right. We haven't. I just, I think we just blend right on. We in. blend like, okay, right on in, and it, yeah, and even seeing like the Jewish community here in South Florida, mm -hmm. where we have a huge Jewish community, mm -hmm. how they protect and they mm -hmm. make sure that their the, what they keep sacred is sacred, so sacred, and they protect their 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 God and their the God within them, mm -hmm. and I don't see us doing that as Christians. So yeah. I remember when uh, Jason's lyric came out. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I think, like in middle school, and my parents went to see the movie, and I had to go see another movie. My mother would not mm -hmm. allow me to see that movie. It was a good movie now with mm -hmm. Jada Pickett and some other people, but my mother was like, no. Yes. So I think a lot of it is, is controlled, you know, by parents, and, you know, what our parents allow the children to, to see. Right. And I felt like, you know, this should be something that a lot of young women and men, because a lot of times we talk, when we deal with purity, we always talk about women, young girls. Mm -hmm. But the, we, we can't be the only ones out here being pure. Right. It has to be yes. transferred to the men as well. Exactly. And I think uh, one, of my, uh, one of my friends, he always says, uh, there are so many women events, but what about the men? Right. He always says that to me. And he's right. We do have a lot of mm -hmm. women brunches and, 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 and events, but there are not a lot of uh, men, um, men type of events. So... Um, I'm happy that you're you're doing this, and you really, because this is like you know, this is a big deal. This mm -hmm. is you know, I know it took a lot, a yeah. lot of faith and courage. So, so what led you to to the to the book? Um, but before you go on, I want you, I want people to know that there are men out there keeping themselves of too, course. because a lot of times people think that okay, it's just a, a female thing, mm -hmm. but men are out there like waving as well. Oh, so, there are so lots of men, sure and I've that. come into contact with a lot of men that are keeping themselves without the influence of anyone else, right, or right. it's something that they have a personal conviction about, mm -hmm. and so. Even in doing this journey, God is showing me that there are men that love him, mm -hmm. that there are men that are committed to him, that there are men that are yeah, willing to, men. that yeah. are good men that mm -hmm. are willing to lay down, they lay down their lives for God um, and um, crucify, crucify their flesh mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. single day. So I think for the ladies, don't give up and think that you have to, mm -hmm. you know, settle for any person just because mm -hmm. um, you think there are no good men out there. You have to change your scenery. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the Same. reasons why... Um, people think there are no good men or no good women. It's because your scenery Same. has that yeah. has no good men and no good women. So if you change the people that you hang yeah. around, then you will see a different pattern and different mm -hmm. way of living. When I wasn't 
walking in purity, I didn't think anybody was doing it. Right. And now when I hear people about people that are in the church and they're not waiting, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you're not waiting? Like right. you're Christian. <laughs> and so for me, my whole world has changed. <laughs> so you have to change your scenery. Yeah, that's, that's what it. our last caller, she said that. So we're, we're right in tune with, with everything mm-hmm. she spoke mm-hmm. about that. Well, so tell, tell us about the book. What led you to this? Um, so I was just in a place where... I really, when God began to show me what purity was mm-hmm. about the total life lifestyle, I wanted it. I wanted to have something where people could not only um, go through a journey of um, examining themselves, mm-hmm. because I really want people to examine themselves when reading this. Like, am I? Do I? Have, are my eyes pure? Do I really examine the things that I listen to? Is my heart pure? Am I pure in my money, with my money, and how I deal with tithing and Mm -hmm. offerings and seed and all that good stuff? And so I wanted to just have something where I show people like, hey, this is a total lifestyle, and this is one of the ways Mm -hmm. that you can kind of go on a journey and start um, examining your life and purifying your life through God and then allow Holy Spirit to do the work that he needs to do in you. Um, So it's something that I wanted to be a resource it took me like over a year to write this little book. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a big accomplishment. Yeah. That's a, don't don't say little. That's yeah. a big no, I'm saying like little and as in size. And um, yeah. Mimi has um, evolved and transformed yeah. right like right in front of my eyes. And I'm like, oh, oh, I, I so love it, and I I salute you. I love you, and I mean, I just I'm just so excited to see what God is going to do because of your faith and your mm-hmm. consistency and stepping out watch how things are going to happen for you. So thanks for being obedient. I know it was a sacrifice. Yeah. So I know you have something big that's happening on Saturday. Please let our listeners know everything about it and Yay. why they should attend. Um, so I've had a lot of friends get married mm-hmm. in the past, like, six years or so. Mm-hmm. Um, and so in speaking to my married friends, just about, like, you know, the different things that happens in marriage. I was like, dude, I don't have a clue <laughs> about what marriage really is. You know, you just see the cute dress, the wedding yeah. day. And you think you go home and do the do all day and hang from chandeliers. <laughs> but um, in talking to my married friends, I realized that there's way more to marriage and so many things that you have to, humps that you have to get over. And then the men, the bringing together of two totally different people yeah, to become yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I wanted to put on something where married people come in and speak to singles Mm -hmm. um, and tell us about the realities of marriage and some of the things they've had to endure in marriage. And it's kind of expanded into now couples are coming and other married people are coming. Um, And I want it to be something where we have a really raw and honest conversation um, and a conversation that's also godly Mm -hmm. because we get so many viewpoints on what marriage is from the world. I really believe that we have to understand that marriage is a a purposeful thing. Mm -hmm. Like it's not just I'm cute, you're cute, let's get married. This is literally, there was a reason God brought the two of you together to do something in the earth for his glory. Mm -hmm. And so I want people to see um, kingdom marriages. I want people to see uh, married couples that are actually serving God Mm -hmm. and that actually love God and men that love their wives and respect their wives and are honoring their wives and that are loyal Mm -hmm. and, you know, not cheaters or out here doing all kind of crazy stuff and women that are okay with submitting to a man. Mm -hmm. So um, I want this to be an event where um, singles can come and we have a really honest conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So so when is it and where is it? It's May 5th. Um, it's from 12 to 3. It will be at Trinity Church at their in their chapel, okay. um, which is the room right outside of their main sanctuary. Um, and the tickets are $25 online. So if you go on to Eventbrite, mm-hmm. you search Marriage the Real Deal, um, you can find the event. And tickets will be $30 at the door. Um, so ticket sales end at midnight on Friday night. Okay. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Yeah. So what else do you have coming up? Um, well, I'm pushing the uh, Purity Devotional, the event. Um, I have, I'll be vending at a couple events, well, in August. Okay. Um, at the Millions Conference with okay. Tiffany Montgomery awesome. in uh, Dallas. And then yeah. I'll also uh, be vending with the Young Leaders Conference in Atlanta. Ah, good. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. So you have the book. you And um, also, how can they follow you on your I Waited blog? Um, so for the blog, you can follow I Waited blog on every social media platform. So YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, me, I'm Marilyn Desilmay1 on Instagram. And then Marilyn Desilmay on Twitter and Facebook. 
Um, and what else? Yeah, so yeah. that's all the social media. Do platform. you have a, a website for the blog? Yes, I www.iwaitedblog.com. Good stuff. So did you think that when you started this journey that it would lead you to a book, it would lead you to you putting on an event? and vending in all these different places oh my god no <laughs> no i mean i and i keep saying it on social media like i never imagined i'd be mm-hmm. here like i literally never imagined mm-hmm. i would be here um when years ago when god gave me the idea for the blog it's literally like things snowball like mm-hmm. i i joined the ministers in training at my church and mm-hmm. became a minister and then i was blogging turned into vlogs and then speaking and you know, doing all these, and then t-shirts, mm-hmm. uh, doing t-shirts, and then the devotional. So, and now to hosting my own, mm-hmm. own event, I'm just, listen, I've been saying to myself, listen, you need to cry right now, because... <laughs> you can't cry on Saturday. Listen, my you, face you, is going to be cry. beat yeah, on Saturday. I paid good money yeah. to yeah. beat this face. <laughs> I need to not cry. No, I think it's just a wonderful thing when you, when you follow purpose and when yeah. you're just obedient to God. Mm-hmm. Although, it, it's just it's not easy to be obedient at all. At all. At all. Especially with this this area of mm-hmm. relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, we kind of say, God, you can have everything except this. Right. Mm-hmm. But we need Him to have this. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's amazing when you just fully say, all right, God, like, this is, it's all on you. Yeah. I'm relying on you to show me and to guide me. Yeah. And look what He's doing yeah. um, in your life just by being obedient. So I think that's a testament, especially to young women, you know, mm-hmm. or single uh, young women. But I, I just, just pray just that we will receive just godly men. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like He is, uh, I guess I won't say prolonging right. our, our um, singleness, but he has us waiting for a reason. We're not yeah. just waiting because he has nothing else for us to do, but right. we're waiting on purpose. And it's, it's, it's not to be upset or mad that mm-hmm. you're single. And sometimes, you know, you can, you go through those phases you of do. singleness yes. where you're upset or bitter that, mm-hmm. that you're single. And some people that you are know are married and you know what they did in their past. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, honestly, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what they did um, and you know what you didn't do mm-hmm. that they did. Right. And so, but it's not about that. Right. It's just about God saving you for a reason, and you have to figure out what you're supposed to be doing mm-hmm. while you're waiting for your, for your king. Yeah, and one thing I will say is, I really believe that God is. There's a generation of men and women that God. Uh, it seems like our singleness is prolonged, mm-hmm. but the thing that I'm realizing is, there are men and women that when they get into marriage, immediately they're going to run into purpose Mm -hmm. and so there's a perfecting that god is doing in a lot of men and women so that the moment we do get married Mm -hmm. there's an explosion of purpose that's going to happen that we won't have time to you know there's some people there they're working some things out in marriage Mm -hmm. in the beginning of marriage that we won't have time to work out Mm -hmm. and so god is doing a work in us and so the Mm -hmm. prolonging is literally god working it out for our good so that when you do meet that explosion of purpose will happen. So I would encourage anybody, be strong in the weight mm-hmm. and be patient in the weight because I believe that it's going to be so worth it. Yeah, definitely agree. All right, and, and for the time that we have left, because this is um, small business, week, could you tell us a little bit about your business? Yeah. Plug that in. Yeah, know. so I run Divine Cleaning and Organization Services. Um, so what I do is I offer organiz- or organizing services for homes and offices and also cleaning services for homes and offices. Um, so if you have any move-in, move-out cleaning, you need to organize your closet, organize your living room, whatever, your office, um, clean your home. Um, I do um, after-event cleanups as well. So, um, yeah, those are just some of the services that I offer with my cleaning business. That's so, right. That is so awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. I remember us, when man. you um, uh, cleaned um, Jael, I have booked you to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did that, so that's amazing. Yes. Before we end our, our call, we have an announcement. Um, our bishop, Bishop Curry, will be celebrating his 27th pastoral anniversary awesome. on March 15th at 7 p.m. We will be joined by Pastor Jamal Harrison Bryant. We know he always has a mighty word to bring mm-hmm. um, to the body. Also, on May 20th at 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. service, Reverend Jasper Williams Jr. from ATL Shorty will be joining us. <laughs> and we are so excited. We'll be celebrating our miracle, which is Bishop T. Curry, and we are on his Good morning success segment today. 
I'm so excited to have uh, Mimi on and our prior guest, Naya. I feel like today was just all in line and perfect. Yes. Yeah, so. uh, See, what? I'm easy. Like, <laughs> <again. Yes. laughs> What's up, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> Thank Naya you. Naya talked about um, yeah. just being on purpose, having tunnel vision, mm-hmm. and dealing with the heart. And you came on to say the same thing about purity. It's not just about with, uh, abstaining from sex, but it's just an entire lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And so that's what we provide on the Good Success segment. Not just to be good Christians, right. but to just live a life that is good. Like uh, live a life that is good in all areas, right. in your business, in your relationships, in your friendships, in your health, in every area. Right. We want you to have good success. Yes, awesome. All right, so guys, see you next Monday for another good success segment. Yay! Yay. <laughs> have a great and awesome day, guys. Bye bye. Uh- Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Hey Miss Linda, hey Stephanie. Hi Alderonda, hey David. Hey Nisha. Oh, and Miss Iva. Bye ladies. Hmm? What happened? Yes. Hmm? Oh, hold on.